this event, we were, uh, Arts and Business and the Arts Council of Northern Ireland were approached by Martin Lemillier, MLA, who was really keen to uh, organise an event to galvanise business support for the arts. Uh, this is a, an event that Martin did when he was Lord Mayor uh, for lots of other charities. Uh, so we're really delighted that he has come forward to uh, work with us on, on doing this for the arts. I'm here tonight to support this initiative uh, with Arts and Business and we're looking for extra funding for different arts organisations. And I believe that the arts are vital to our community because without art, what is the point in life? Without colour, without dance, without music, without singing, without stories, without people being able to relate to each other, then what is it all about? Um, and without that, it, it just life to me is not worth living. I think it's so vital to our communities and it's vital to help Northern Ireland be remembered in such a positive light. Uh, I'm David McCulloch, I'm the Chair of Cabosh. I'm delighted to be here tonight. This is a great initiative and hopefully it's going to turn into a yearly event where we can actually encourage the business community to support the arts. Obviously this time with the welfare cuts and austerity, um, arts are getting a, a hard time. But I know working in business how important the arts are. Uh, I've been involved with the Voice for four years and I've taken a lot of lessons from how they operate as a business. You know, professionalism, focus, passion, all those skills that are evident in arts are, are easily and well transferable into, uh, into business. In terms of Northern Ireland businesses, obviously quite a lot of businesses in Northern Ireland do already invest in and partner with the arts because they see the value that um, a vibrant, culturally rich uh, Northern Ireland has in terms of our society and in terms of the economy and really given Northern Ireland that standout appeal on a world stage uh, but also what's really interesting is that the businesses do it because they get a return as well. The arts are vital. In Northern Ireland they're the soul of the people, they feed the soul, they feed the spirit and we need art expression here in our country. Well I'm hoping tonight that everyone that's uh, represented, every arts group, will uh, get a lot of money to support their work that uh, we'll all support one another. I'm not looking for any front runner. I just think if we can all share the pot, it'll be fantastic. Um, I think the arts are probably really important um, just because it gives people an opportunity to come together and celebrate together. And it's kind of, it's, it's really important for Northern Ireland where we are at the minute. And the event tonight really gives um, art, arts organizations an opportunity um, to tell what they do in front of business owners, which is really important considering funding cuts and all that sort of thing, so it's good to be involved. Well, basically we've got quite an exciting idea tonight um, that we think will really um, have, just have a great influence in the whole of Northern Ireland. And I would just say that by investing in that, you could be part of something that's absolutely massive and really catch, capture probably the essence of Northern Ireland a bit. So. I think the arts are really important in Northern Ireland for all people, all ages. The arts are such an important core part of um, what we need and what we do as, as human beings. And I think, you know, for for our well-being and survival, we need to like to be involved in the arts in some shape or form. I mean, from the very basic thing to children and young people being able to express themselves through, for example, through drawing, painting, making. Um, dance, music, drama, you know, there's so many things that that um, young people, children can do to be involved in the arts and I think it's, it's something that comes naturally to them anyway. If you watch any young child, you, you'll see their creative beings, they want to dance, they want to move, they want to draw and have fun, you know, so the arts are just a core part of who we are. It's very important to visit to show support for the arts in Northern Ireland. Um, it has a massive impact on the economy here, uh, certainly from our point of view, the, the tourism that comes into Belfast. Um, it's great to see people coming to the shows and seeing the arts and the culture. And it, it certainly fills the hotel rooms, which means that we're busy, which is great, and it impacts the economy that way.
I think in uh, light of recent austerity and the funding cuts that we've had from the government, it is absolutely vital that arts and businesses work together in order to grow. Uh, I think it works both hand in hand. It's a win-win situation for both the arts organisation but also for the individual business. And when they're paired perfectly well together, they can actually both grow enormously individually but together as a team as well. Um, certain businesses would really suit certain arts organisations and they will benefit from that. You're reaching out to a broader community. Uh, you're helping to, to do something good but you're helping to spread arts to, to different parts of the community that might also be interested in your business. And I see it as being the perfect initiative because it, it, in days like today with austerity measures you need to have businesses to be able to give you that extra oomph. But businesses are getting something back with it as well.